For the structural analysis, applied load cases first need to be computed. For the computation, uh, we need to enter the structural anal analysis menu with this structural command, then issue this air case command to generate applied load cases with some appropriate options, and then issue this S command to run the structural analysis. Here are the options that are available for the for applied load case generation. First, this first option, minus state, assumes the structure is fixed in a space, so it does not consider the dynamic part of the applied load. The next option is minus process. We can generate applied load cases at any time step or event. For example, through time domain simulation, we can identify the time steps at which critical cases occur. If it occurs at 45 seconds, we can ask MOSES to calculate the old applied load cases at this time step. Then we can proceed the structural analysis with this load case. The next option is for the structural analysis in the frequency domain. This is different with these two types of load cases. What I mean is, for load cases from these two options, we have final internal forces and deflections for member and connection check. However, what we have at the end of the structural analysis in the frequency domain is the response amplitude operators of internal forces and deflections for unit wave height. We cannot use these RAOs for our code check. So, we need to take additional steps to have final strategies. And this is done during the post-processing stage. Let me introduce how this is implemented in MOSES later with this presentation. The next option, here minus time, is to calculate applied load cases by combining wave profile from random wave and motion RAOs. As you may know, Time domain load cases takes long time because we need to run the simulation first. And also, frequency domain load cases has a theoretical limitation that it is always linear. So, this option is to overcome the limitation of those two types of load cases. The last option is to use the generalized degrees of freedom when generating load cases. This applies to all the options listed here. What I mean is, MOSES has a structural dynamic solver performing eigen analysis. Once you ask MOSES to compute natural frequencies and their mode shape, I mean natural characteristics, they are considered whenever applied load cases is calculated. Whatever the options is, if we use these modal superposition techniques for our wave force calculation, we can say the forces are calculated based on the form of bodies, since individual mode shapes are the buckled shape of the structures. This is the wave MOSES for hydroelastic analysis. After computation of applied load cases, we need to perform structural analysis. The structural solver of MOSES also has many unique features for floating structures. First feature is inertia relief. As you know, we need to fix a structure to prevent rigid body motions. But floaters are not fixed in a space, so sometimes giving a fake fixity for the equilibrium could yield conservative results. Inertia relief is to tackle these issues. I mean, inertia relief achieves equilibrium status by applying counter forces to the individual beams in the opposite direction of the applied forces. This technique has been widely used in aircraft or automobile industry. Furthermore, once floaters are in the water, we need to take into account the spring effect from water. For this, MOSES calculates the total springs based on water plane area 
and divided by the number of joints that are submerged. Then attach those, those springs to the joint automatically. This is another unique feature for floaters. Also, during installation simulations, boundary conditions changes at each time step. MOSES automatically tracks these changes and capture the correct boundary conditions. One of the examples is launch analysis, where uh, two bodies, uh, I mean barge and jacket, interact through launchway. Changes of the, their position at each time step are captured by MOSES for rigorous structural analysis. Also, gap elements such as tension only or compression only or fraction elements are supported in MOSES. So, if any of these elements is used, MOSES solver does iterative gap analysis. These are the brief introduction to the structural solver of MOSES, and we will prepare another webinar about the some more unique features of structural solver for installation analysis with MOSES. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.